Before we can create any 3D model, 3D piping model, you need a spec. In this case, as you see in the tool palette from AC21, we have a certain components in the spec AC21, and the same thing for in this case BC21. Let me show you how this can be done. The closest model. And then open the spec and the catalog editor. Before I do that, I will just show you a typical data sheet of a spec. In this case, this is a data sheet. This gives you the pressure and the temperature for the process. In this case, as you see, with the value. And the spec name is AC21. And the pressure class is 150 pounds. And then it's also have a selection of the components can be used under that pressure class. This is a typical data sheet of a spec. Close this one. Open spec. Just select open and then go to the project. Of course, the spec can be located whatever, wherever on your project. And select AC11. That was the spec I showed you from data sheet. When I open it, it will remember the catalog last used when you did the update in the spec. So now it's automatically select the catalog you used then. What will show you, I want to add a ring joint connection on a valve. So in this case, I need to add the valve and I also need to add the fasteners. So what I mean with fasteners is then bolt and gasket and of course flange. So as you see below, this is the catalog. So in this case, this catalog has lots of components and we can then create a query. This is the query and then you can add the component and add it into the spec. So let's start. I have now the, my valve catalog and if you take a look in my spec, this is my spec with all the components in ACID 11 and I want to add a ring joint valve, gate valve and I only want to add a 6 inch. So then I start with the size range. Select 6 inch and also 6 inch. In this case as you see, the selection starts to narrow down. And then I also select, of course, the pressure class, in this case 150, and the facing is then ring joint. Now we have certain components, and I also want to add a valve, in this case a gate valve, and just select add to spec, and then press add to spec. Now that is now added to my spec. As you see. Then I also want to add flange and gasket. So you have to select the piping and the fittings catalog. Same thing. Since I created, added a new catalog, then I had to select the query again. Again, 6 inch. Pacing, link joint, pressure class, 150. Now I can select. I want to have the flanges. I also want to have bolts. And I, maybe I want to have a two bolt set, and of course, I also want to select the gasket and then add the spec. Very simple. Now we have the correct bolt set, and we also have flange and the gasket. So let's take a look at the branch table. This is a typical branch table for this spec. It gives us a selection. When we do piping and auto piping and auto routing, then it's automatically add, let's see, reducing T or a T instead of a stub in and uh, for value letter, things like that. This is the code. So it's when I go from 8 inch on the main pipe and to the branch, in this case, 2 inch, it says S001. If you take a look, that is actually stub in. And uh, that could be changed. So when I select that one, then I can also select a multi-branch selection and I can give it a priority what it should be. So if it was a socket lead instead, then I just select that one and move it to priority one and then select OK. So next time I add that kind of pipe combination, it will give me a socket lead instead, instead of a stubbin. Save this one, just select save, close open the model
Now I'll show you how easy to add that spec into the tool palette. This is my tool palette. Select, of course, correct tool palette. Open a drawing, in this case, my piping model. As you see, I don't have AC11 in this tool palette. So I select Spec Viewer. Open the spec, AC11, select the header file, and then create the tool palette. Let's take a look into the spec. That's my flange. And of course, you don't see the fastener because that's already defined in the process setup. But we also have my valve, my ring joint valve here. So that's the way we create a component or add a component into the spec.